but you got to keep your ears open. You know, as as soon as you say like, oh, I'm I'm not tapped in, that's that's when you're irrelevant. You know, but yeah, man, I, I stay listening. I love what's coming out of Detroit. I love uh, you, you know Atlanta, Lil Baby, uh, Polo G, uh, Side of Baby, um, Lil Yachty new album Fire. So I definitely try to stay tapped in with you know just what music sounds like today and and keep releasing things that make sense in the musical landscape of today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, absolutely. It definitely comes across well. Um, the the one Thank you. super funny like mini like connection, I guess, uh, it, it is on Model Minority, which at the end there's a spoken word or spoken like poem type piece from Dante Bosco, who, uh, who listeners to this pod probably know that name. They probably know that's, that's Zuko uh, uh, from Avatar. Tell, tell us about your relationship with, with Dante and uh, how, you, how you kind of, also just how you got all these features. There's a lot of features on this, this album. Yeah, I want, you know, like first and foremost, like shout outs to Dante, shout outs to Ronnie Chang, shout outs to AJ Raphael, Ruby Ibarra, uh, Michelle Myers from Yellow Rage, um, Zeta Zhang, our friend, she's a professional wrestler. She was the first, uh, I believe, Chinese American woman to wrestle in the WWE. Like we got so many different, you know, uh, friends on this project. And that's really what it came down to was just, you know, a lot of friends, a lot of people who've known me and Alan for a long minute, a lot of people who've seen me move through my career, um, who know what I stand for. And when, when I pitched them sort of the point of this project, they were like, yeah, you know, let's, let's do one for the community. Uh, so, so, you know, we, we got them a little bit of whatever they needed and then they were able to able to really help it come alive because it was very important given the subject matter of this you know like that is not just a couple chinese dudes me and alan rapping about asian american history but we really wanted to make sure you know we had our friend tet who's a burmese american artist friends Neela and humble the poet who are south asian uh our friend chow main is is chinese vietnamese um, so yeah, we just wanted to really make sure that this whole project actually in some way gestures to the breadth of Asian America, rather than just, you know, uh, succumbing to East Asian erasure mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, you know, assuming that just because we're Asian American, we can speak for the whole community. Uh, so, so we definitely wanted, you know, a lot of Filipino, a lot of Vietnamese, Southeast Asian and South Asian artists, men and women. Um, and, and it worked out good. And yeah, shout outs to Dante. That's big bro. I've known Dante, geez, probably seven, eight years of my life at this point. And uh, he's been, you know, just a great big brother, inspiration role model. You know, he's best known as an actor, voice actor, uh, uh, Rufio in, in Hook. But he's also, you know, a huge spoken word artist. He helped co-found uh, the Poetry Lounge, which is Los Angeles is like home of spoken word here. So yeah, yeah, you know, I just hit Dante and he's super busy. He just had his directorial debut, the fabulous Filipino brothers, uh, starring him and his family, um, him and, and the other uh, Bosco brothers and their sister, Ariana, who's one of my mentors. Um, but yeah, I hit him and you know, Dante and I have had a lot of experiences together, whether in community in LA, uh, we've been on the road a little bit. I've opened for him a couple of times at shows and um, yeah, what it comes down to is is we just shot him the info, shot him the track, and, and he hit us back. Like, he was literally, you know, on set, in edits, finishing Filipino Bros. But uh, he got us a really fire spoken word piece that really, you know, sealed up what Alan and I were talking about on this track about the model minority, uh, which also features Neela, again, this amazing South Asian Canadian singer. Wow. Yeah, it, it seems like... Uh you know, I think that's kind of the power of when everyone's bought in, you know, everyone mm -hmm. was really feeling the project and what it meant, especially during this time. Thanks for listening to this episode of Tea with My Uncle Iros. Catch us every Monday on your favorite podcasting service. TWMUI is written and produced by me. Definitely rate and review us on iTunes and follow me at Son of Paper on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook theme music by keys for more visit facebook.com slash unlocked keys spill with y'all next time on tea with my uncle iros <laughs> <laughs>